Yeah, yeah. Should be a fun, fun uh, Saturday morning in Ann Arbor. Hanging day, bar stool, all sorts of uh, things. Early, early season uh, showdown. Uh, I, I do like Michigan with the points. I think it is seven and a half some places. So I worry about their offense. You know, Texas is pretty balanced. So I think there's a nice comparison maybe of Michigan last year to Texas this year. And I'm not sure we're quite there offensively yet, unless they were really holding some things back. I either think one of the quarterbacks has to play really well because they're going to have to make some plays. Like they're not going to be able to be a total game manager. They're going to have to make two or three big time throws, decisions, and plays. I think the defense can hold us in there for a little bit, but at some point you still got to score points. Now you can't win 0-0. Got to have a couple big plays out of the quarterback, and then I think I I think they got to find a way to get both running backs on the field to be more dangerous. Because I think if you could play both at the same time a little bit, you could get some rushing and maybe get uh, take a little bit of pressure off Edwards. But I feel like when he's in the game, they, everybody knows he's probably getting the ball. We're not going to hand it off to him. Then we're trying to throw it to him as a check down um, or running maybe some type of a uh, swing type pass. So I think if you get both Mullins and him on the field, at least you. You make the defense have to guess a little more. We don't have that go-to receiver yet besides Loveland. So I think that might open open some lanes, open the door, because you, then you can't focus on what's going on. So whether they whether they combine for like 150 and 50 yards receiving or 200 total yards combined passing or uh, receiving rushing, I think they got. I think they just got to be more of a weapon together, uh, which will help more help Edwards out. So.